Hello drummers, welcome to Tim Connolly Drums. Today we've got a very, very important lesson. One of the most important lessons in my opinion and learning this will change your life the way it changed mine. Because prior to learning how to hold the sticks properly, I was doing it all wrong. It wasn't until spending time with a great drum teacher, Dom Famulero, Joe Morello, Freddie Gruber, guys like this, that I realized I'm doing it all wrong. Why am I struggling? Why am I having such a hard time getting the sticks to move? Basically, the reason is you're cutting off the sticks movement. Almost every drummer does this. So I am going to give you the secret to letting the sticks flow freely without you getting in the way. Let's get started. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna be moving up and down a little bit here as I'm demonstrating the grip. So this is vitally important what I am about to show you about how you're gripping the stick and allowing the stick to move, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna show you from the German position. So German position starts from bringing your arms down at your side, which is perfectly ergonomically correct and a very relaxed position. Sit up straight, be very relaxed. Bring your arm up, put the stick in your hand. Boom, that's the left side. Exact same thing on the right side. And this is the position that you want to be in, right here. Now, from this position, we're gonna move up here. Now look at my hands. This is the vital, vital part. Look at my hands and the way that the stick is being held. Okay, so from this angle, you can see a little bit better as to how I'm holding the stick. And this is vitally important. So we've got the stick in this position here on the palm of the hand. Just a little bit of the stick sticking out. Then we're going to create a very loose spot for the stick to move freely. Second knuckle, side of the thumb. So in other words, when we're in the German position, the thumbnails look at each other. So second knuckle, these three fingers relax around the stick, and these are your full, this is your fulcrum or your where you're getting the movement in your stick. Where the stick moves here, is just a pivot point. It's very, very loose and relaxed. Here's the part that's going to change everything. Make sure this finger is out of the way. This is the thing that prevents people from being able to allow the stick to move freely. Get that stick, pardon me, that finger out of the way. Allow the stick to move. Now, purposely did that. Did you see the way the stick went off like a circle? That is exactly what you want it to do. You want the stick to move freely and relaxed. Freely and relaxed. Okay? That is the way you want to grip the stick to create the freedom of movement.
Okay, so that is how to hold the sticks to get your speed going. Now, the thing is, is that you want to remember, go over it very quickly. This is the position, finger out of the way, second knuckle, thumb against it, nice and loose. So the stick actually is doing this. That's how loose you want the stick to be. Okay, so on both sides, let the stick bounce. All right, so slightly bent wrist position. Don't do anything weird with your arms. Keep your elbows down, nice and loose and relaxed. Your whole body should be relaxed. You let the sticks bounce. Don't let your fingers get in the way. Now obviously I'm moving the stick with my fingers. Check out my video on the free stroke to understand exactly what I'm doing stroke wise, but that this is how you hold the sticks and this is what you want to be doing. All right, thanks very much for joining me today. Stay tuned for some more videos I've got coming up very soon, especially dealing with the molar stroke. Keep drumming, like and subscribe, keep watching my videos. Thank you very much. See you soon.